All right, uh, this is Anarchy Arcade uh, running through the uh, the uh, what is this? The Color Cross headset with uh, Trinus Gyre uh, using their built-in streaming because I cannot get 3D working any other way. This is the fake 3D, which actually works fairly well, but is not as good as like the actual 3D that uh yeah the 3D <laughs> it's not as good as the 3D that um well, I wish I could talk that you get with the uh that headset thing you know the the what's a face Yeah, so, I mean, it's streaming, there's a little latency, and, uh, but I'm looking around now, it's really cool, uh, there's a little issue at the window, it really doesn't, uh, show much in the way of 3D because everything is just staying still unless I move, I have a controller, <clears throat> my Xbox hooked up to my PC, Oh, and this headset I'm trying to tell you is the Oculus Rift, obviously. But the 3D, there's a lot of good depth here. Um, they do a good job with the um, with uh, with the uh, 3D for it being actually fake 3D. They actually are able to get it to look very nice. Uh, the only major issue I have with this is the fact that I have a Galaxy S4. The screen's not that big compared to something like a note or something. And what ends up happening is I see a big box, kind of, you see black bars around everything. And it just doesn't cover up enough area for it to be uh, really believable enough, so it takes away from the experience. Um, they do, <coughs> Trinus Gyre has a lens correction thing, and I really don't like it. It actually makes it look like you're looking through a CRT, and it makes you feel sick. So, I turned it off. But, yeah, you can look around. This is the uh, Anarchy Arcade. You can build an arcade. I did a little bit in here, you know, you can do stuff like that. And, you know, that's all well and good. Uh, I've seen what the the oculus rift looks like um yeah i've seen what the oculus looks like let me turn up the volume on my pc so maybe some of it could seep through there's not much going on with the audio but anyways yeah, so the Oculus has good 3D, like, things really pop out, and <clears throat> when you look through the windows, like, if you move your head, the camera angles will move uh, a lot, but right here, if you see, if I move my head, nothing really happens, except for maybe, you know, like, the image distorts a bit because of the way they did the fake 3D. Bleh. <coughs> <coughs> But um, if I move with the analog stick, left and right, or back and forth, then it moves. But I don't see any depth out the windows. So there's no depth effect out the windows. Um, nothing really pops out to the point where it feels like it's in your eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's certain things like um, you see lights on the, on the ceiling here. I mean, it looks like they're coming down from the ceiling, but, like, if you move your head, nothing really moves, so it ends up making it look a little flat. It looks like it's just pasted to the ceiling. Um, some people actually think that this 3D is better than the native 3D they're getting um, with, yeah, native 3D. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I like the, the depth is really cool, but... And I think they did a great job. 3D conversions normally suck. But this is really good. It's just... There's certain things that don't really pop out or... You know, that are basically impossible to actually achieve without true native 3D. But...
yeah. We got a set of Corso over here. I'm gonna sit down and fucking play it right now. Uh, <laughs> Darksiders 2, the arcade cabinet. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it's like the little things like, okay, when you look at it right at, straight on, it looks cool. If, Thing looks right, and then when you turn your head, it kind of looks like things are pasted to the floor or something. And you can't really do anything about that because it's you're not getting two real camera angles. And uh, there's certain things that weren't done uh, because this wasn't really made with 3D in mind. Also, my head likes to drift downwards. <laughs> um, there's also a drift issue with the Galaxy S4. Uh, where basically the camera, or uh, it's like a, it's weird. It's just the the camera will drift around, and it's a it's a software issue. I know that because I mean there's, it can't be fixed in stock, uh, the latest stock update. But if you have like a custom ROM, which I can't get because I have a Verizon Galaxy S4, and they stop you from doing things because they're idiots. But, you know, you can fix that if you can get a custom ROM. I can't do that, so I don't have that. If they ever update to Lollipop, which apparently they're supposed to, uh, hopefully that should be fixed. I shouldn't be having these issues. But, uh, and this is cool. Uh, it seems to be lagging now, so it may even disconnect. Uh, but, yeah, that was just wanted to show... Um, this uh, using using the uh, the uh, what's a face color cross and uh, go downstairs and the um, yeah the um now the color cross and what do you call it and the trinus gyre using fake 3D because it's weird because um, if this app would go into full screen. Um, Tridef would work. I've actually been able to get it to work with Tridef for like five seconds, but this game is forced to be in windowed mode no matter what you do, so there's no way to put it in um, full screen. But unfortunately, I have to deal with uh, the fake 3D, even though it's not so bad. It's just, it would be so much better if it was uh, real, if it gave you a real 3D effect, like true 3D. But, you know, it's cool. The 3D effect is really good for this. For being, like I said, being a fake 3D effect, it's really cool. So that's that. Thank you for watching. And I'm sure, actually, if this was... If I had a bigger phone or something, this would be a lot more immersive because it does give you a, a sense of being there, especially, like, right now I'm standing. There's a big thing where, like... It feels more more it feels like more like you're there if in the scene you're standing and in real life you're standing or if you're sitting and you're playing an app where you're sitting that makes better sense also I found games to be obnoxious with this they're cool at first yeah they're cool to play around with but there's too much going on for you to actually enjoy the experience so I found actually apps and shit like this to be better because you can just walk around and look at shit check things out and you know, as opposed to like some first person shooter where it's like high action stuff happening all over the place and you're, you got to pay attention to shooting and aiming and everything. So, it's a heck of a lot better when you're just hanging around looking at shit. Um, but if you have like a, a game that doesn't have a lot going on, you know, maybe a little more relaxing, you probably have a better time. Probably like Skyrim would be. Uh, Skyrim's not that great in 3D, you know, in virtual reality, I didn't find. But like it would be something with that little going on where it could be relaxing is good. But outside of that, you know, this is cool. And uh, yeah, by the way, this is the, actually the ultra quality, but. I'm not using USB tethering or anything. I'm just using Wi-Fi Direct, and uh, getting a lot of uh, a lot of um, 
artifacting and things. You'll, you'll see it in the video if you actually look in maybe a Google Cardboard or something. Or maybe even on a 3D television. <laughs> 3D display. I keep having to adjust my... my uh, I have to center my view. Keeps getting going off. That's that. Thank you for watching.